What I've got here is a simple demonstration of a solar tracker using some very small solar cells as a power source as a, and also acting as a as a light sensor which power this small motor configuration down here on a pulley which then turns the entire contraption to orient itself so it stays perpendicular with the sun. Now what you see here is just the, the sensing cells. I have not added any kind of a solar panel array that would actually generate the power to charge batteries. But this will demonstrate how the, the small cells turn the entire contraption to stay oriented with the sun. So first of all you've got two sets of cells on either side. Each side is going to power the motor based on the energy produced from those cells. The little white panel jetting out from the center is a, a uh, kind of a shield from the sun so that as the entire thing rotates one direction it will be more sensitive to the movement of the sun. There's a top view of what that looks like. We've got panels positioned in different orientations here versus here so that as the as the sun sets at night and then has to reorient in the morning, or the, this entire contraption has to reorient in the morning, uh, the cell set on the far left side will capture the morning or eastern light uh, more efficiently and be able to move the entire thing come first thing in the morning. So let's show how this works. Right now it is oriented perfectly with the sun right up there in the sky. And I'm going to mimic the sun's movement by actually moving the base of this contraption. Let's say the sun has moved to the west, which would be mimicked by going like this. The motor has kicked on. It is now slowly turning the entire device. You can see the shadow of the sun moving. It slows down. and now has stopped. Repositioned with the sun based on the movement that just happened. Right perpendicular with the sun. One more time. This would be the opposite direction. Let's assume that uh, the sun just came up in the morning. The sun's in the east. This is now repositioning itself based on the sunlight that is hitting the easternly panels or cells. And it will take a few minutes, but it will then orient itself to capture the power that's being produced first thing in the morning. Then slowly reorient itself all day long to stay perpendicular with the sun. And here you can see the shadow of the sun moving. As it gets closer, the motor starts slowing down, slowing down, and now it has stopped. Let's check the position, perpendicular with the sun, perfect. So how does this work? What happens is I've got these panels, or these solar cells wired together so that everything on the left side is working together, everything on the right side is working together, but then they are wired to the motor so that the solar cell set on the left side, when it has more power going into it from the sun, it will turn the motor one direction. When the other side has more power going to it from the sun, or being generated by the sun, it will turn the motor the opposite direction. So you've got the two panels working against each other. Whichever one is getting more power wins and turns the motor that direction. Very simple setup. Wiring is as you can see there. Now, let's put this thing into, into motion and just watch it make a large orientation move in fast forward. Okay, so let's mimic the morning situation where the solar panel is going to be facing the west because the sun would have set there the night before. Now the sun has just come up 
and it's got to reorient itself to be able to face the sun first thing in the morning. So let's assume the sun is in the east and the panel is facing west. Let's position it in that scenario. Now let's watch it reorient itself and I will fast forward this so that you can see the movement. Well that actually took only about a minute and a half or so. That was a lot faster than I thought it would, but it's now positioned right in perpendicular with the sun again and ready for the day's power generation. Very simple contraption. Uh, this is not a novel idea, it's been done before, but the, the part that I haven't seen done before is to orient the cells a little bit off angle from each other, even on the same side, so that it will more easily reorient itself uh, in the morning light. Because that is a challenge with this particular device, is you have to have cells that are that have a enough of a power difference between them that it's going to be able to to power the motor and catching that amount in the very first thing in the morning when the sun first comes over the horizon to get it all the way from the west to the east is a challenge and so that second orientation of that second set of cells allows that to happen and as you can just see it uh, worked out pretty well so one of the primary concerns that somebody might have with this or the a question they might ask with this is well okay this works for a small system like this but how well would it work with a large panel system where you've got a few kilowatts of power being generated how scalable is this idea and at first glance you think okay maybe not very scalable but the the whole question comes down to how much power does your motor require to be able to move your larger panel set and how many small cells or what kind of a smaller panel system would it require to to move that motor or to power that motor and if you can answer that question you can answer the question yourself as far as how scalable is it um, this particular unit would probably easily facilitate one to two hundred watts of, of panel system and in actuality the small motor you see on this device is really overkill for what you see here because of the pulley system it's scaled or geared down enough that I could probably use a motor system that was half as powerful as what you see here and it would still turn this thing very easily because this is on a, a very um, low friction pivot it doesn't take much power to move it uh, certainly there are other concerns to consider uh, what what do you do when uh, when the wind starts blowing and uh, and keeping this thing from from moving around in the wind that's that's certainly a design concern uh, but generally the idea holds quite well in that it, it can be very effective in moving a solar panel to orient itself to the sun S simple in concept each specific design would have its own concerns and, uh, and challenges to overcome, but the concept could be applied in many applications.